This is the Combi Reservoir Mercury Remediation Site. The purpose of this job was to do a pilot study for the separation of elemental mercury from dredge spoils in real time. We're utilizing a six inch eddy pump dredge mounted excavator attachment, a six inch eddy pump booster pump, which feeds a processing plant consisting of scalping uh, units that uh, remove the, the organics from the sediment, and then that sediment is fed into a Nelson concentrator, which is a centrifugal based concentrator that removes the mercury in real time. The current pumping distance from the excavator mounted pump to the booster pump is about a thousand feet. The pumping distance from the booster to the treatment plant is about 4,000 feet with about 15 feet of vertical rise. We originally selected the eddy pump for its ability to pump high solids and the robustness of the system, the simplicity of the pump to be mounted on a, on a rental machine and its size and its portability. We initially were using some open vein impeller type uh, boosters which were provided by a different rental company. They were more suited towards sort of pumping bentonite or uh, liquid, you know, water. And we had a lot of wear-based issues with them that caused some failures. And uh, since we've put the eddy pump booster online, we haven't had a failure. So we, we placed a GPS angle-based dredge positioning system on the machine. This gives our operators a real-time view of the project, both in plan view and sectional view. It allows them to instantaneously know reach, depth, pond water level, and the location of where the cutter has been. This allows us to take an operator who may be an experienced excavator operator, but an inexperienced dredge operator, and allows them to become far more efficient in the dredging process quickly. So it really cut down on our training time and our learning curve to allow our operators to become far more efficient quicker. It also allows us to maintain a plus or minus uh, half a foot grade tolerance over the, over the entire project and to provide a, a level surface for our customer. We're pumping somewhere between 25 and 35 percent solids by volume. This equates to about 86 pounds per cubic foot going into the treatment plant. The original thought was we wouldn't reach that level of density without additional water separation at the plant. Cost savings wise, it allowed us to demo two thirds of our treatment plant and reduce our labor footprint by about uh, 60 hours a week. That allowed for significant cost savings. In addition, it's providing a, a solid density which allows for even less uh, pretreatment. In terms of the excavator dredge, we're probably 90 plus percent uptime. The only downtime we have is for regular, regular maintenance and service on the excavator, the pump, the HPU. That includes fueling, grease, oil changes, just standard preventative maintenance. We haven't had uh, downtime with the pump yet. Well, this is our, this is my personally, my second job working with Eddy Pump. They've both been very positive. We're going into a third project with Eddy Pump right now down in Moss Landing. It's a standard marina dredging project that includes uh, dredging both fairways and slips of a uh, commercial marina with offshore disposal in the ocean. Eddy Pump offers custom dredge positioning and monitoring systems as seen in this video. They incorporate directly with our products to maximize your efficiency. Call for details. Visit eddypump.com for specs or call our engineer representative with your project questions. At Eddy Pump, we pump solids, not water.